All right, today we're gonna to be going over how to wire a 521 hard start kit. Uh, we'll do it real briefly on a standard dual capacitor, but ultimately I wanna go over how to properly wire it up on a turbo capacitor. So uh, we'll start with this. Uh, this is on the packaging and on the backside are the instructions. Extremely simple. So we have a dual capacitor, so we're gonna look at the right hand side the dual run capacitor. And what we want to look at is the relay 521 and that's this relay right here. So let's start with the black wire. All right. If we read it, black wire is going to the T common uh, to the contactor. So get that wire and pop it right on. Uh, let's go next to the striped wire. So our striped wire is gonna to go to Herm on the dual run capacitor. So it will go on the Herm over here, along with the compressor wire. And our last wire is the red wire, uh, which will go, well, there's one red wire that goes to the start capacitor on the hard start kit. And then the other red wire will continue on to the common on the dual capacitor. Boom, three wires, super easy uh, with a dual cap. So there's really not much to that one. Uh, what we're gonna do from here is we'll take the dual capacitor uh, out, put a turbo cap in its place and rewire it and see how we wire it up. All right, so that dual capacitor that was here being replaced with a turbo capacitor. We're gonna say that dual capacitor was a uh, 30 slash 5. So on the turbo capacitor, all we're doing to make a 30 is taking a jumper from the 20 microfarad to the 10 microfarad. 20 plus 10, 30. So on this part, nothing changes too much. You do want your uh, original Herm wire to go to the highest term. So that's going to be your 20, of course. Your red common coming from the contactor is going to go to the center. And your fan wire is gonna go uh, to five, like it was. Perfect. So now for the hard start kit. Let's do this over again. So black wire, that one's not changing. That's going to your contactor. So next we're gonna do our striped wire, which is still gonna go to the highest term. So these two wires are gonna be the ones that mix people up. Your last wire is gonna be the red wire. And normally on the dual capacitor, it's gonna to go to your common. Uh, but a turbo capacitor has a CPT, uh, compressor protection terminal. And that's where your red wire is gonna go. So on a standard dual capacitor, say your Herm side fails, your turbo, or your, not your turbo, I'm sorry your hard start kit will still start that compressor up and allow it to run, and it's gonna run really, really harsh. So really inefficient, your amps are gonna be really high, and that's gonna tear down the compressor. What this CPT terminal uh, allows to happen is, say your Herm side on the turbo cap does fail. That CPT will not allow the hard start kit to activate and start your compressor up. It will actually just leave the system not running so that there's no damage created to that compressor, no extra damage. A lot of people will get uh, this terminal confused and what they'll do is they'll take their striped wire and go to CPT and the red wire and go to common and this just won't do anything. So uh, it will pretty much just make the hard start kit inactive uh, it's not going to blow up or cause sparks or anything crazy, but your hard start kit that the homeowner paid for won't do anything. It won't be active. It won't assist that compressor in the slightest. So it's just like it's sitting there doing nothing. So that is how to successfully wire up a hard start kit to a turbo capacitor. Hope it helped.